Hi, it's Jim. So, when there was a time when I needed to strain stuff, I I do something like this. I imagine a lot of people have done this. You have your, of course, utilitarian mason jar, and then a funnel, and then a strainer. But the strainers all have handles, and they also they don't really fit. In, so you like you, know, you can't can't have that going on. So you'd have to find something, maybe maybe not the teapot on the stove that you're going to use later, but you have to find something to rest the handle on. And it sits and drips, and what a pain in the tail, actually. But I did this for so many years. And then I got a Chemex. And it's really cool. Um, this one actually has some, some comfrey leaf oil in it. So uh, everything fits. There's a perfectly shaped stainless steel perforated filter cone and then because i'm doing an oil and i don't want lots of little bits of plant matter in the finished oil i have another um, paper filter underneath of that so it just sits there and if i need to move it i can just lift it up and move it if i need to move this i can't even like that's precarious yeah you know you've done this before so I highly recommend, let's see, it's a Chemex. Uh, I got the one with the, the glass handle on it. I think it's easier than the little wooden thing. It maybe doesn't look quite as cool, but um, it's a Chemex uh, pour of a coffee maker. And then this is a perforated stainless steel filter made by Think Crucial. I think that's what it is. And then these are not the, the Chemex filters in there. That's a, a Hari, Hario? Hario, I think V60 paper filter that would fit in like uh, this kind of pour over thing. That this could work too. So instead of that's just a pour over coffee maker. Instead of that nightmare setup, I could do that and put those same filters right into there, and they would work just as well. But it's a little bit less, uh, per, you know, stable but still works very well. Um, so highly recommend it. Try it out. Bye.